Hi guys, it's me, and I am using my earbuds and my iPad again because I'm hiding in my room to do this video. Um, the kids are napping, and Ava's downstairs playing. Um, she's reading to herself right now. Um, I didn't really want her to hear this, or any of my kids for that matter, but I thought I would do a life update because a lot of people have been sending really kind emails asking how I'm doing because I've kind of done this, like... I don't know, I've been saying, talking about how life's getting pretty hard for my family and it will be for the next few months and I'm not telling you guys exactly what's going on because it's not something I really want to talk about because out of respect for the parties involved and because, you know, obviously it's a kind of a sensitive subject that, um, yeah. But I did want to kind of talk about it because I do, it is hard for me because I do talk to you guys about my issues and share so much to not share this part because it is a huge part of my life right now and it always has been. Um, if you weren't aware, I do, my oldest daughter has another father. Um, I had her when I was 18 years old. She's eight right now. And um, it, yeah, um, I have retained full custody. We went through a really big custody um, battle for like two years when she was first born. I, of course, got full custody because I'm not a drug addict, I'm not a bad mother, and um, I take good care of her. Um, if you've met her, some of you have. She is an awesome kid. She is just gorgeous. She's she's very well behaved. She's very smart. She's very... She's a really good big sister and really good daughter. Um, we were having issues there for a while, but whatever it was, she grew out of... Um, some stuff has happened in the past few weeks uh, that I, of course, haven't talked about on my blog or here because, again, I'm trying to respect everybody involved. Um, but basically, some stuff has happened to where our custody visitation needs to be revisited because it's not working anymore. Uh, it's been eight years since one was set. If you have shared parenting or you're, you know, have full custody of a kid and you do visitation, you understand that things change with age. She's in school now. Um, you know, just it's not working anymore. So basically, long story short, I went and asked for a modification and then he went and got a lawyer and is now suing me. So it, you know, it's what I expected because just I wouldn't expect any less from him. So now we are in for a really big battle because he wants to make me out to be a bad mom. And I don't think I am a bad mom. So my husband and I, as you guys know, are on a budget. And I'm not trying to like talk about this because I'm like oh feel bad for me or oh this is drama to entice people to watch my channel because honestly I would rather people not watch my channel except for those few that really do care about me my husband and I are in one income and you know we live a very I mean we're frivolous about some things like we like our gadgets we like things that make us happy, but we live in a modestly sized home. We don't go on big vacations. Like, we choose what we want to spend our money on. And obviously, we have three kids, so that takes up a lot of our income. Um, we have a bunch of, like, health bills from, you know, my ER visit was $250, just my copay. We haven't even gotten the bill for, like, my CAT scan. And my husband had surgery last year, so we're paying that off still. But this lawsuit is going to hit us hard. It has hit us hard um, emotionally for me because nobody likes being called a bad parent or having their parenting in question, especially when I have for the past eight years. I'm 26 years old. For the past eight years, I have taken care of that little girl, and I feel like at 26, I'm 18 years old again trying to defend my parenting when, when most 18-year-olds were just out partying and going to school, and I was working three part-time jobs supporting my child. So... It's hard because I don't feel like I should have to defend myself because I've, if you meet my kid, like, she's just, there's no reason why anybody should think that I've done anything wrong to her or by her. So, 
it's been really hard and financially it's going to be really hard because we obviously, since he lawyered up, I wanted to work things out in mediation. Since he lawyered up, I have to now lawyer up. So it's going to cost probably, well, our retainers a couple thousand dollars and then who knows after that, we don't know. And it just sucks. You can't ever just, like, work things out anymore. You know, it always has to go, like, through the court systems. And then if somebody lawyers up, then the other one has to because it's just, like, I don't know. I just wanted to work things out, you know. I just wanted to be able to talk about something and work things out. But that's not going to happen, and that's fine. But it's just, like, it's been really hard emotionally and physically. I'm just stressed. Um, I have really terrible TMJ, so I've been clenching a lot more. So then I had to go to my dentist yesterday and um, get fitted for a day guard because I've been stressed at clenching and it's been worse and my night guard is not helping me during the day so now I have to wear something during the day when I'm at home and that uh, apparatus isn't covered by my insurance so I have to pay for that out of pocket too so it's just it's been hitting us really hard it's been hitting me really hard because I just I don't know but I'm confident I mean again like I don't feel like I need to defend myself um so that's basically it. So if I, f if I disappear for a little bit, or if I seem unhappy, it's because I am unhappy. I'm very, very unhappy right now. And I don't care if my daughter's father's watching this because I have a freedom of speech. I have a, a right to talk about what's going on in my life. I'm not saying anything bad against him. I'm just sad. I'm just talking about how I feel right now, which is I'm just sad. You know? <laughs> so, and of course he probably has his own opinions or side of the story, and maybe I'm just this terrible person and I don't realize it, but this is just how I feel. This is what's going on with me. So, Ava's being so strong about it all. She knows that we all love her, and... I think she's okay. I try not to... I don't talk about it in front of her because I don't want her upset. But it's been really hard, and it's been really hard on my husband because he doesn't know what to do, and he's just working really hard to get me a good lawyer, and... You know, it's not his fight. That's what hurts the most is that, like, my husband married me, and he's dealing with all this stuff that's, like... Not even his fault, you know? Like, he has to deal with all of my baggage still, and I feel so terrible, and he's such a good father, you know? Oh, so, yeah, so if I seem upset, or my videos seem really short, or whatever, it's because I'm masking this just ongoing pain. This is really deep-seated pain and stress because we can't afford this, you know, what's going on, but... You know, we, I was really excited because my husband, you know, has got a raise and we were doing really well. And then, you know, this hits us and it's just like, I can't ever win. You can't ever win. <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> there's that. Um, and then another thing that's going on is um, I met with my doctor. Some of you know I had that endometrial issue that I was in the emergency room for last week and... I don't know. I hope this mic isn't like exaggerating all my sniffles. I feel bad, but um, basically, I'm being put on a low progesterone um, birth control pill, which kind of sucks because the whole reason of getting a tubal was so that I wouldn't have to take birth control. Um, and to see if that helps, um, it's going to stop my cycles completely. It was either that or going on Depo-Provera, which I, when I was on that, when I was a teenager, I went, my emotions went crazy. As you guys know, I have PMDD too, so it's very important to get my cycles to just stop. Um, I know some people asked, like, oh, you know, they can do a partial hysterectomy or induced menopause or things like that to stop my cycle, but I... Um, in the next year or two, might be donating my eggs to a friend. Um, so it's really important that my ovaries stay working. So what I need is a short-term fix for now. Um, and my doctor doesn't want to do menopause or hysterectomies because I'm 26 years old. He doesn't want to do that to me. So we're going to start on a low progesterone um, birth control, and I will take that. And if it stops my cycles, to see if maybe it'll stop my endometrial lining from growing outside of my uterus. 
um, and then just stick with that and painkillers for a year. Um, uh, the reason why we're not going to do Depo is because Depo can stay in your system for up to four months. So since I don't know when uh, egg retrieval or harvest could possibly happen, that's not a good idea because, you know, we want it out of my system for my eggs to start producing again. So the pill is the easiest temporary thing to do. So that's kind of all he could tell me. I mean, there's no real cure or fix to endometriosis. I know some people said that they got surgeries done and that fixed it, but he said that in his experience, not everybody's been successful with that. And what I have is my endometrial, like endometriosis is mainly in my canal, um, whichever that means. Like I have really deep holes and stuff like that. So I don't know. I had another attack last night, which is random because my period's not due for another two weeks. So I don't know what that is. Um, I think if it comes back again, I'm going to go see my regular doctor to see if maybe it's not something else too. But that's kind of where we're at with that. Um, but yeah, <laughs> um, we've also been having some issues with Wyatt just because he's three and he's just at a really difficult age. Like Kaya's doing really well. Um, she's not sleeping again, but it's because her all four of her top front teeth are coming in. So I'm not getting sleep because of that as well. You can see I'm just like exhausted. Um, Wyatt is having issues just being three. You know, he wants his independence, but he also is still a kid, a baby, you know, so to speak. So he's just been really difficult. <laughs> but um, so yeah, that's been basically it. So if I haven't been responding to emails or text messages or comments I'm trying I'm really trying it's just because I'm sad you know and it's not like I know people are probably gonna say don't let it get you down don't you know whatever and I'm not like mad at Ava's dad I'm not I'm really not I don't have any feelings towards him I he doesn't bother me he's not a bad dad I just it's just hard to get along with somebody you don't get along with or who's being obstinate or difficult with you just to be difficult and it's hard for me not to be upset when he's putting my whole entire family in financial jeopardy and he doesn't even care. So that's pretty much it. <laughs> that's my update. So I hope you guys can respect me not talking about this anymore because it's not going to be something that I am going to, like, I know I have a right to talk about it, but again, like, I don't want to make any mistakes or have anybody get you know, mad at me, he's already going to be mad at me that I even mentioned it, but it's my life. But I just thought I would share with you guys because you guys are like the biggest, other than my parents and my husband, you're the biggest support that I have right now. And I know this is my ugly crying face, so you don't have to think it or say it or put it in the comments or write about me somewhere else. <laughs> but yeah, that's what's happening, so... There it is. I will talk to you guys all in my Veda video. I'll probably look exactly the same as I do now, but with less crying. But I'm not taking a shower today, not because I'm depressed or whatever. It's just because I don't feel like it. And yeah, I have had a lot of fun getting to know you guys. And I thank you for respecting my privacy and for being supportive. Like I've gotten so many emails of, I don't know what's going on in your life right now, Kelly, but you're in my prayers. <laughs> Or I know that I don't know what's going on with you or I don't know you very well, but I'm thinking of you and it just means a lot because sometimes it feels like nobody's, you know, cares and I don't have a lot of friends that are close to me. I have, you know, like maybe four best friends that I can name, think of at the top of my head, but I don't see them all the time or I don't talk to them all the time, but it's just nice knowing that there are people out there who are just genuinely like nice people who care about you even though they don't have to care about you you know it just means a lot to me so I'm babbling and I'm crying and I'm all snotty and gross so I'm gonna let you guys go and I'm gonna try to get myself together so I can go downstairs again um but yeah I'll see you guys all later bye <laughs>